What's going on? What's going on, baby? We back at it again. Drams on deck. And today, I want a sherry bomb. Today, I want something that's just gonna ah do something special for your boy. And I'm working on it right now. I'm trying to see what am I in the mood for. Let me bring it back. What am I in the mood for? I'm just scanning for a nice. Ooh, that's a nice one too. Hmm. Let me keep going. Let me see. Oh, you know what? I think this one right here just might do. It's just might do. It's the Arian Sherry Cas. Ooh, fifty-five point eight percent. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Here's the. The container that it comes in right here and if you look at my reviews later you can tell or know rather that i am a fan of arian i'll take a look you get a quick peek at the batu this one right here um like i said i've had this for a little bit but this one right here oh look at that color oh it likes that nice golden cherry color amber color yes it is yes it is like i said about that damn near 56 percent we're gonna dive all into it Let's go it. Let's get it. Arian, Drams on deck. Sherry Cass, let's go. What's up, baby? We're back at it again. Drams on deck. Today, today, I was looking forward to doing this review. Today, we got a real one in the building. Today, we have the Arian. Another Arian. This time, the Sherry Cass, the Bodega. It's on deck for review, sitting at just shy of 56% ABV. And if you know anything about my channel, you know I love my scotches, you know I love my sherry casts, and you know I love my high proofs. And if you've seen it in some of my past air reviews, you know I like Arian. So it's like four things. That's four checks right there. So I'm, I'm excited about this one. So I'm ready. Let's do this. Let's get it. This one right here, this is probably, what, I think, my fourth Arian I've done. I've done the Balfi, which is a quarter cast. That was high proof. I did the 18 year, which is behind me as well. That's a really dark sherry cast. 18 year was excellent. And I also did the Arian 10 year. That's another excellent. And I say, I think I put the Arian 10 year probably in my top, well, maybe I would say it's a contender for top five of some of the best age dated 10 years I've had. But nevertheless, um, Arian, they, they've been killing it for me. And I also got some other Arians that's coming up soon. I'll get to that later on. But anyway, um, back to this. Got the Aaron Sherry cast on deck for review. I got this one. I ordered this one online from one of my stores. I, I was living in San Diego not too long last year. So I ordered this one maybe about four or five months ago. I'll say about five months ago uh, from a store I used to frequent back in San Diego. They shipped it to me here in Des Moines. And I got this one. But these range, I think I paid around 85 bucks. But if you can get it at a good sale, you can probably get this for 70, 75 bucks. Um, I've seen it as, you know, range from anywhere from 70 something bucks all the way up to like 90. So in that ballpark, I mean, you you know, you can maybe find it, you know, just depending upon where you go. California, like I said, it was, it was a higher range. It was 90. But I think I've seen this before and it was like maybe in the, in the mid, mid 70s. So, but that's the ballpark of it. Not a stated. Um, like I said, Arian revamped their bottles last few years. I think I'm going to say 2019 or so, they revamped their bottles. So they've still, in certain stores, you can go to and you'll see something Arians, but it won't look like in this. All their new bottles look like these as far as designs. Uh, you see that, you know, the previous ones, they, they don't look exactly like this, but those were uh, told to be good as well. Um, all the Arians that I've reviewed have been the new updated ones. And, and most people say that they've that had the previous version, but the newer uh, version is a little bit better. So anyway, this is the fourth area I've done. Uh, Sherry Cast Bodega. Like I said, I, I'm really looking forward to this one. So as always, we're going to nose it, we're going to score it, and we're going to taste it. That being said, you can take a look at this color. This is a nice, rich, like I said, I just said earlier, like a cherry amber color. I really like the colors turning me on. It's getting me Google-eyed. And uh, I'm really, really feeling it. That being said, let's see what this nose has to offer. I'm not a huge nose person, but right off the top, this is very, very aromatic. Like you can smell that it's like almost like a wine influence. Hence the sherry is a wine. You, you definitely like the 56% damn there. I can I can smell, I, I can you know feel the heat a little bit, but it's in a good way. But I pick up some almost like a, a cherry note, orange, apple, cinnamon, spice, ginger. Ah, yes, all that. This has a very nice nose. Like I said, you, you feel some proof, but you, I pick up on the note. Like I said, cherry, a little bit of apple, the spice, uh, ginger. 
Yeah, maybe a little small orange peel. It's just, it's, it's really nice on his nose. And it smells wine-like, you know. It has like a wine influence, obviously, on it. And it, it's, it's a very pleasant note, let me tell you. Very nice. Yes, you definitely pick a, a multitude of different, like I said, the cherries, uh, the orange peel, spice. Very pleasant. I enjoy the nose. Without further ado, let's go ahead and take this first sip and let's see what we got. Cheers. Mm. 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 Damn. Damn. You gotta excuse me, but a lot of times the first sip, even on when you sipping something hot, you can feel the heat. And it's kind of, you know, sometimes it's not the most balanced, at least for me. That first sip, it was high proof, balanced, shocked me. And I started swirling around getting all the different notes. Yes. I'm enjoying my job right now. Please forgive me. Let me take one more quick sip. I'm going to give you these notes. One second. Mm. Mm. So, let's roll it around. I definitely feel the heat. Okay. But as I do it, it's almost semi numbing. The more I sip it, the heat it gets more acclimatized. But anyway, so you get that proof of the, of, the, of the ABV. So the proof is there. But to me, it's still nice because I like the proof. I like the heat. It's not scorching or burning. If you're someone who used to sipping higher proofs, if you're someone who doesn't sip neat, I mean, you don't sip high proofs, this is probably going to burn for you or maybe hot for you. So that's why I would say for a seasoned drinker, this is great. If you're if you're someone who still kind of get to the high proofs, you would probably want to, you know, obviously still take a small, take smaller sips and then add little drops of water to bring it down to whatever's comfortable for you. So so many people will even put ice cube in it. I think, you know, because sometimes you might overdo it if you put big fat ass ice cubes, unless you have an ice ball, that's different. It is smelt slow. But my suggestion, if you're going to drink it neat and you're not used to drinking high proofs, Take smaller sips and put, uh, and as you do it, gradually start putting water in there until it gets to what's comfortable for you. That being said, back to this, I feel the proof, but man, I get a month to, it's like a nice thick cherry note on here. Then I get, obviously, that sherry, that rich sherry wine taste. Um, if you ever had a sherry wine, it's, it has a rich, ripe sherry wine influence taste, rich, ripe sherries, dark berries, uh, ginger, Man, I get like a little, like I said, the orange peel that I, I take a little, just a sip of that orange peel, a little chocolate on there, vanilla. It, oh man, it, it is very good. It is, oh man. If you a sherry cast guy, if you a person who enjoys sherry cast, if you never had this, I'm going to tell you right now. Hey, when I, tap, when I tap this table, that means pay attention. This right here is legit. Before we get to scoring, this is legit. If you a fan of sherry cast, I'm telling you now, if you have you never had the Aaron, because like I said, this I, unlike a, a McAllen or a Balvini, this is not something you're going to see every store. Some, I would say even most stores don't have the Bodega. Uh, they may have like the 10-year Sherry. Uh, I'm not sorry, the 10-year uh, Aaron, sometimes the quarter cast, but not all of them will carry the Sherry. Um, that being said, so, so if you see this at a, in, anywhere in that you know, 70, 80 ballpark, and you a fan of Sherry, and you like high proof, get it. Don't hesitate. One more time, get it. But I'm telling you right now, solid drink. It takes me back to when I first started breaking the scotches years and years ago, I was a huge fanboy of the McAllen Sherry Cast 12 years. Not the newer version, the older one. It used to come in the maroon box. Man, that turned me out to scotch that just kind of you know, took me down that little journey. For, you know, so, so long story short, once upon a time, I thought, man, like, damn. It, it, and that was a good sherry, too. Uh, that was 43%. This is obviously much higher. But that that got me down a sherry journey. As I, you know, went down that sherry journey, I, you know, I tried sherry cast from all kind of different distilleries. But, man, this one is, is definitely up there. They, Arian, like I said, I have not had a bad Arian yet. This is the fourth one I've reviewed. I've had others that I have, have yet to review. 
And like I said, I have not had a bad area. So when I so I trust me. So if you were a Scotch person, or if you just if you were in the sherry cat, or if you ever had Aaron, trust me, they are solid. I think they're very reasonably priced. You need to get if you don't know about Aaron, I'm putting them on. I'm putting them on your radar so you know who they are. They ain't playing games. They come in. Hey, they come with some nice, solid, I think, well balanced drafts. So please check them out if you haven't done that. So I put some drops of water in here, and I want to obviously it's fifty six percent pretty much. So I kind of. Put a little water, let it open it up, see if it affects the, um, the ABV, obviously, and uh, any inherent uh, uh, spirit, uh, taste profile. It may, it may alter it, make it better, worse, or what we'll see. That being said, this is with the water. About five, six drops I'm putting in. So let's take this with water and see what we got. Cheers. Mm. This shit is delicious. I'm, I'm sorry. Mm. It seems like it got a little bit better with the water. That cherry notes pops out more. Get more, get more of a like a that orange peel, that ginger pop, that sherry, the sherry itself, it pops more. ABV kind of dies down a bit, obviously, but man. This, this is a solid drink. I could drink this. I could sit back watching him and just sip and nose this and I'll be happy. And it has a good nose too. That's the thing about me. I'm not a huge nose person. You know, if I smell it, if I happen to sip something and I enjoy smell, I'm like, oh, okay, that's nice. But I'll be honest with you, I, I tend to enjoy certain sweet peated scotches more just because I love the smoke and the sweetness. It just something about, it's, it smells like a barbecue. That's just, I love sweet peated spirits, but nevertheless, so... This is not peated at all, but it's sweet. Sherry. And this is, I don't know the feel. I don't. I think this is, like I said, up to seven years of age or seven. I don't know if this is first feel sherry or whatnot, but what it, it tastes like a first feel. You can really taste like it, it's not. Yeah, I've had some sherry cast that was watered down. And it was just, it, it was not properly balanced. This is balanced. It is rich sherry, not some little drawn out uh, diluted sherry. This is some rich, ripe, fruity sherry. I taste on here. It is so bad. So when you swirl it around your, on your palate, you can taste all those different notes of ginger, the spices, like I said, the cinnamon, nutmeg, like I said, ginger. It's just the orange, the apple, the, the big fat cherry note with the sherry. It's just, it's a wonderful, wonderful drink, man. So I'm going to take one more quick sip and I'm going to score this for you. I don't think I can ask for much more, man. This is really good. Really good. I love it. I love the proof. I love those different flavors. I even got just a little bit of a hint of chocolate on there, too. And I meant to just even say it on there. Yeah, it does say right here, dark chocolate. Yeah. I picked up on that when I was water. I picked up a dark chocolate note. I'm like, wow. So it seems like even as I'm sipping it, it's opening it up. I put water now. And even as I'm reviewing it and sipping it, this spirit is evolving in my glass while I'm sipping it. So that 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 dark chocolate note just kind of popped in there. I'm like, whoa, where did this come from? It's very good. Like I said, man, you sweet, you get, like I said, you get the spices, like the bacon, like the like the cinnamon, really nutmeg heavy on there, vanilla. You get that rich sherry, cherry, and then you get the dark chocolate that just a second ago. Man, this is it, man. High proof. So like I said. If you're someone who's not used to sipping high proof, like I said, I'll just do what I did. If you need to add a little bit more than I did, then, then feel to do so. Keep in mind, it's your palate. So you have to do what, what works best for your palate. So if you were to dilute it and leave a little bit more, fine. I would say do it gradually. Don't just over, just start off diluting it overly. Just take it down little by little by little until you get to what your point. Because sometimes it may take you maybe 10 drops of water or a cap full if you don't have a drop or whatever. But just find that right spot where, okay, I pour up to here, a cap full or 10 drops, that's perfect for your palate, and you can just go, go from there. But man, I can, I can sip this neat or, or with water, but to me, it tastes good both ways, but maybe with water, slightly a little bit more with water, is a little bit better. Um, it, it's, it's hitting, man. So if you can get this at retail, which is, like I haven't seen like a heavy markup on areas, which is a good thing. I think it's one of those solid scotches that's flying under the radar, people in the know, like, uh, you know, whiskey kind con or scotch connoisseurs, kind of they know about Aaron, you know. Uh, but just a casual person who just drinks, you know, like, you know, they may drink some uh, Johnny Walker or 
you know, McAllen, Ball, Vinny, things are easily accessible. They, they might not know about this. So this is for the people who are not, you know, what you would call the scotch or whiskey nerds. This is for you guys. If you don't know about Aaron, I'm telling you, they make sour, but not just the sherry cast, but the other ones I did. Like I said, the 18, the 10, the Balfi, they get busy. So if you if you haven't had Aryan, do yourself a favor. When you see it, get it. Because like I said, they don't mark it up, really. They really don't. You may, like I said, you may they mark it up maybe $10 or something like that. No more than $15. They may mark it up for the most part. But you know, you can get pretty much all Aryans under, at least the ones I have, under $100. The only ones that are really caught, obviously the 18 years, that's gonna be over hundred dollars But like I'm we'll get to that in just a second. Some other Aryans I got. You can pretty much get them all in a hundred dollars, solid drams. All the ones I have is fifty percent, or well, as I was the uh, eighteen years, forty six percent, and, and um, so I think the forty six percent is as low as they go, forty six percent and up. So anyway, what about I rate this? The Arian Balfi, I'm sorry, Bodega rather, uh, Sherry Cast, out of one of a ten, ten being the best for me drams all day, and I'm gonna rate this against Scotches and his contemporaries. <sighs> Man, I, I'm gonna be honest with you, this. For a non-peated scotch and for a sherry, I don't think I can ask for much more. I don't think I can. I, I mean, I'm, I, it's high proof. It's solid. I'm a man. I'm gonna give the. I'm I'm be, I'm be a hundred percent transparent with y'all. This is no fluff. I mean, this is almost close to perfection as I can get without it being peated. You know, not that it has to be, but I, so because of that, I'm gonna give it just shy of a ten. This is nine seven five for me. This is a. This is a. Very, very, very good sherry cast to me. Very good. So, not, I mean, it's just shy of a 10. Not all, not, not quite, but I would give it a 975. And when I give another reason why I give it 975 is also because of the, of the price tag, too. Because a lot of spirits that I've tried, I, I may knock it. Like, I may say, hey, I, it tastes like a 9, but I'm going to knock it down a whole point to an 8 because it's overpriced or whatever the case may be. These are, rel this is a very relatively priced, I think. And even though it's not age stated, but it's it's cash strength, high proof, and for what you get, all the flavor. I mean, it, it, like I said, it's evolving in my glass while I'm talking to you, and I can get this for less than hundred dollars, and it's high proof, and it's this rich, thick sherry. Oh my god, I got for me, like I said, it's a nine seven five, and I'm and I'm judging on that scale. I, I gotta give it nine seven five. So if if I if I had to compare this against other high proof sherry casts, I don't think I can get too much better than this. I, not, that's not because because Peter's is a different. That's a different element. But so we talk about nine Peter high proof sherries. I don't think I can get too much better than this. So because that's why I'm giving a 975. It's just shy of a perfect for me. It is solid. So if you like high proof sherries, you see it, don't hesitate. Pull the trigger and make it happen. 975 for me. Um, I'm enjoying this so much. I'm 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 running through some things. So for me, uh, for all my high proof uh scotch connoisseurs, you know, if you if you enjoy my channel or whatnot, I got some other spirits I, I kind of want your opinion on. So for me. I was sipping this other not too long ago. I was like, damn, what I mean, what could compete with this? So I got some other high proof scotches. I'm, I'm gonna pull out real quick. So I already I think I reviewed, yeah, I did. This is the Glenatically 10 year. Um, this is a high proof sherry as well. I'm gonna show you the, the color on it real quick, but this is a dark uh 10 year, so this this is an age state, obviously, but you see how dark this is. This is cash strength sherry. If you want to see, I'm looking about doing a, a, a lineup of high proof shares to see which one is the best. So I could put this versus this, or obviously the, one of the OGs is the Abalauer Abu. Nah. This is, oh man, this is another solid high proof share. If you want to see these two dudes do battle, or we can do all three, however you want to do it, you let me know. From, from your mouth to my ears, you let, you let Drams know I'm here. I work for you guys. So you let me know what you want. But this is another um, solid. If you never had the Abelar Abu Na, it ain't no joke. It's another high proof, rich, thick sherry. It, it, it gets busy. Or I mean, I got this right here. This review is coming soon. This is another solid. When I say OMG, this is another OMG high proof sherry. This is a 12 year. So this is, like I said, maybe a ballpark seven. This is a 12 year high proof itself. And it gets busy. I'm going to show you the color real quick. I haven't yet to review, but I'm telling you. This Deanston ain't nothing to play with. I'm just like, he ain't gonna play with, he ain't either. And I'm curious my damn self. And the only way I'm gonna know is if I do side by side, because you really, when you travel side by side, you can really taste the nuances and the differences. So I'm, I'm curious to know, but this one right here, these two in particular right here are just, whew. And like, I mean, I got other ones. I even got this Glen Nevin Nadara. This is another Sherry Cat. 
This is awesome. If you never had this one either, this actually you don't see this very often. I'm trying to tell you. I know it's not what you would call a standard staple, but this one right here in the Glen Niven Durham Oloroso, this is another high proof. This is about at uh, 60% itself. This is another bad man right here. I'm telling you, these I was sipping this and I was just like, I don't like I said, I don't know the answer. I just want you to give me a reason to do all this shit. That's why I want you to want you to give me a reason to say, Dram, go ahead and do it. And then lastly, this one, the Ball Vinny 15, another high, high well, that's about four, just shy of uh, uh, 50%. Another one gets busy. So you see, you see, you see the lineup right here. I mean, I, I don't, I don't really know who the baddest of them all is, but I'm just putting it out there. So if you want to see all these get, you know, lined up, I can give you what you want. Just let me know. So if you want to see the Deanston versus the Abelauer versus the Ball Vinny versus the the uh, Aaron, just just let me know, man. I'm I'm, I'm here for you guys. And what also what I bring up is I got some more Aaron in the core. Like the only reason I'm talking about it because we have Aaron here. So I have all these things here. And bear with me, one more bottle. So these three are the these are like the non-core lines, but they're all 50, these three are all fifty percent. So I just recently picked up this port cast one. So I got the port cast of fifty, the Arun cast of fifty, and I have the Sarantine cast of fifty. Um, I'm gonna do all these, all three together at some point. Um, but they, whew, they're solid too. I haven't had the port cast, but these two are solid. So anyway, just be looking out. So this is another part that I'm just showing you just for face value. This is another part of the area line that I think is solid. You should check out as well. Uh, these are finished, just like a finished series. Um, so those are coming soon. So anyway, nine seven five for Dreams on deck. The bodega Arian is in the book. Solid, nothing to play with. Solid dram. Um, Sherry Cats High Proof. Check it out. Hopefully you got some of this review. If you did, uh, hit the like button, subscribe button. Likes and subscribes are free. Um, hit me up. Let me know if you want to see if it, like a versus side by side. I, I can get those things to you. Just hit me in my, in my description box. I'm sorry, the comment box rather. Just, just tell me what you want and I can uh, see if I can get it to you as soon as possible. Uh, but yeah, just having fun with it, enjoying it. Hopefully you guys are getting something out of it. If you never had Aaron, hopefully these reviews kept up enlighten you or open your mind to something different if you never had those and if you have had it let me know your opinions because i definitely want to know what you think about these things that you have had uh, stay safe out there please stay tuned um like i said and, and uh like i said check out my instagram page too on the in the, my description box there's a link to my instagram page so a lot of these uh, as well as other bottles are on my instagram page that i haven't reviewed yet so please check that out also have a cash app patreon if you do choose to support help the channel grow and uh, like I said, stay tuned. Got more hot reviews on the way. Drams on that yeah, desert.